about 10 or 11 at night and uh, we are connecting the camera system. Countless plugs, one after another. And uh, let's hope everything works out tomorrow. This is a complex system. I'm in the midst of it. This is after all highly experimental. Yeah, bridge, bridge, rope us on the back deck. How do you copy? Uh, big, uh, big bridge. Uh, keep the launch on my side. Coming up, guys! Okay, going down slow. I'll stop, mate. All clear for sub motor. Sub motor out of bypass. Quarter ahead. Quarter ahead. Every trip is different, uh, there's different challenges, getting new equipment put on, getting it working and dealing with new people is always, uh, it keeps it interesting and it's always fun. Yes, it is especially difficult. Um, one, we've never been here before, so it's like driving into a new town somewhere. We're completely lost, so the streets aren't familiar. So we're not sure what's more than 25 meters in front of the vehicle, <clears throat> other than what our sensors are telling us. All the sensors on the vehicle are exposed in the back, so we're flying around big rocks and thermal vents, and uh, we have the dynamics of the ship and the cable to manage, so it's... Uh, it's a challenge to uh, stay on top of all those. Black smokers are formed by uh, seawater which percolates down into the hot oceanic crust, is heated to temperatures of 350, 400 degrees. It dissolves metals from the rocks and brings them back to the surface, or at least the seafloor, where they form the black smoker vents. This particular area is unique in the sense that we have two converging plates one plate being subducted under another plate, which is bringing great quantities of metals and volatiles to the volcanic area. And those are brought to the surface here, not just by circulation of hydrothermal seawater, but also by volcanic activity and actual degassing of magma. I'm paying particular attention to where the hydrothermal venting occurs relative to the structure of the volcano. All volcanoes have structure. They have, um, they have centers, they have outer uh, perimeters, they have carapaces, they have uh, dikes that cut through them, faults that cut through them, and all of those structural features of volcanoes control where the hydrothermal fluids go. But we're not very good at predicting that, and we map, which is what I'm doing, we map those structures in order to identify what's controlling where the hydrothermal fluids go. They have high concentrations of metals like copper and zinc and silver and gold, and these in particular in the area of Tonga and the Western Pacific have very high concentrations of copper and gold, and that has a certain value that is of interest to some uh, mining companies who may ultimately develop and exploit these deposits for those metals.